So this debate that we've got tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, we will not be here in the Chad Benson Show because no. tomorrow night, you just mentioned a few minutes ago, yeah. and I agree with you, this is the biggest day Shit. of election 2024 to this point, short of some crazy October surprise Which that we're going never to know. get. In today's world, you never know. So, uh -huh. so why is the debate so important to the outcome of the election? First of all, so you've got this is the one time that Trump's going to have an opportunity to put her under a spotlight. The media is not really clamoring. Even with the, the muted microphones, even with the think muted he's going to be able to try yeah. to do that. And I'm hoping that ABC does a good job of keeping her feet to the fire. They'll do it with Trump. But I hope they do the same thing with her and ask her some follow up questions as you know, and, and he does the same. This is the last time that he's going to have that chance because there's not going to be another debate. The most frustrating thing to me, and both candidates do this all the time, is they spend less time talking about their policy and far more time talking about who their opponent is, how crappy their opponent handles this, that, or the other, whatever it is, and less time talking about here's who I am and here's what I'm going to do. It's all about my opponent is the worst and here's the proof of that, not about Here's what I'm going to do, and here's the three ways I'm going to make it happen. Because it's much easier to scare people of than course. it is try to change their minds or to and fill them in on things. And so tomorrow night you're going to see some of that. Uh, but for for him, he just needs to not talk. <laughs> he needs to deliver whatever he needs to deliver and then allow whatever to happen happen. For her, she has to do two things. She's got to introduce, introduce herself to America because mm -hmm. a lot of America has no idea anything about her really. And she's going to have to explain some of her positions that she has gone drastically the other way on, which have not really been asked. And when they were asked by Dana Bash, they weren't really answered. Rick Klein, ABC News. Harris, uh, to a lot of people in the public, that not that well-defined. A lot of people want to know more about our policy positions. Trump doesn't have the same issue. He might be well, too, too well-defined in some ways, and he may want to kind of soften the edges or change the perceptions a little bit when he gets on that stage. But it'll be up to the candidates to define what kind of debate they want to have. It's much more important for Harris. She's oh. done one interview to this point. People really don't know much about her, what she stands for, what she doesn't stand for. The American public know exactly who Trump is. How can Kamala make it clear? See, this is this delicate balance she has to walk. She's got to make clear uh, she, she's not going to do exactly what the Biden administration has done, but she's all she's a part of the administration. So how can she draw this contrast and make it clear she'd take the country in a different direction when she is a part of the direction it's currently going? It's the weird situation where you have to— you, at what point do you say, okay, I'm not going to throw him fully under the bus, mm -hmm. but I need to— Biden. I need to keep myself at an arm's distance from a lot of these policies mm -hmm. that haven't helped America or been see, you know, been perceived as not great for you know, the individual. How, how does she do that? That's, that's an important thing that she's got to do. And I think at some point in time, she's going to have to step up and say, look, while I was in the room for a lot of these things, the reality is these are not— I the, disagreed with I that. Disagree it's with not them. what I would have done if I was the exactly. commander-in-chief. Exactly. She's in got chief. to make that without throwing him under the bus. And that's the weird thing that she's going to have to do is, like, how do you keep him close but far enough away that you don't get some of that Biden on you? That, but also she's got to deal with Trump on stage, too. Can she hold up on a stage against Trump? We've seen Trump in numerous debates. We saw him in one just a month or two ago. We've last seen her four years ago. She was campaigning to be president, vice president. We saw her take on Pence. There's some famous lines out there where she shut down Pence. And in Trump's debate prep, Trump says, hey, that's not going to happen again. He's getting ready with Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard for the debate. We'll talk about that more here in a few minutes. But how is she going to do when she's never taken on a Donald Trump before? And that's not an easy thing to do. No. You know, you, you and I, we always talk about football. Mm -hmm. like and Love football. Everybody, like they talk about Kyler Mahomes, uh, they talk about Patrick Mahomes or Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. You have a guy on the squad every week that, that shadows the them, team. the scout team, mm -hmm. but it's not the same. No. When you get out there, it's a different no, world. No, of course and, it's and not the same. And she can go in there, and she's got guys dressed like Trump who sound like Trump, but it's not the same. No. She, just At the end me. of the day, you don't know what the other person is going to do. And Trump is that wildest of cards, and that's why people loved him, and that's also why it drives him crazy. She, though, has—this is her first one in years. 
for and this is this is totally different. This is not a situation like the the vice presidential debate. This is a whole different thing. You're it now. He's done seven of these. He has no problem doing this, and that is going to be an issue because I think a lot of the fear tomorrow is. She doesn't answer any questions. She goes sideways. She gets flustered, and then she starts word salading, mm-hmm. and that is a huge fear that that I think a lot of people have for her. I think she's going to be okay, but I don't think we're going to learn a lot from her. I think she's going to just keep it very quick in and out. The challenge for her too is how do you do this dance? Not just where you have to defend the administration, but also show how you're not going to do exactly what the administration is doing. How do you stand up to Trump, but you also don't want to mommy him and come off like you're putting him in the corner or anything like that? You want to show that you've earned his respect, but also that you can't go off and be a G on him and you can't scream and yell at him because you'll look unhinged. Yeah. She's got to walk a very fine line. And that's very, very difficult when you've also got to sit there and answer questions that are coming to you from Lindsey Davis and David Muir. You've got to think, OK, what's the question? How do I handle this? What the heck is Trump going to say? Like you mentioned, yes, the mics are muted, but he might just decide to yell. He might decide to walk over to her podium and start talking, which would be so Trump like, uh, I think Well, you'll remember when he was taking yeah. on Hillary Clinton, there was the moment where he, he around, yeah. kind of walk in the background. Uh, I think for her tomorrow. You've you, you got part of the big thing I think a lot of people are worried about is from the Democratic side. I talked to a couple of strategists the other day and they said mm-hmm. she can't come across. Everybody's like, you need to go after his criminal. All these. You can't make it look like you were a part of the lawfare because people aren't thrilled by that. By the way, that really hasn't hurt Trump at mm-hmm. all. And that only could backfire on you. You have to be strong. And my thing is I would keep it all on topic. Don't Trump is a like. Sweet science. My man right in there, Pablo. Pablo and I love boxing. Arguably the greatest boxer of all time is Floyd Mayweather. Boxer. Just a pure boxer. Mike Tyson's a street fighter Mm -hmm. that happened to box. Trump wants to get you to a street fight. She needs to turn it into a boxing match. That's how she wins tomorrow night. And a lot of people say, too, that uh, the bump that Kamala got from the time when she got the nomination is is fading away here. Yeah. And there really wasn't it. It was all built in that first week or two. There wasn't that huge bump that you get a lot of times when you come out. People were happy to see that Biden was going away yes. and that it was going to be somebody who you actually ran had this iced tea with a D by its name and they'd have been happy. had a pulse who yeah. knew where they were. But now that's all gone. And now she's got to put on her big girl pants and we've got to see what it's all about when she steps on that stage, gets behind that podium. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, I mean, you know, this is this is going to be a very, it's only 57 days right now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we're 50, as of tomorrow night, it's 56 days. This is going to go fast. And they're already voting now in North Carolina. So they've got the, which is bizarre, the fact that we're like two months out. It's like seeing Christmas stuff in August. You know, it's like at the store. But it's going to go faster than people think. And every one of these things, these little things here and there may sway a county or may sway a city. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR news.